the plan for today also has a big effect for the plan for tomorrow. So the, the main thing we're going to do is we're going to, we've got to manage the resources that we've got now. And we're, we're going to do it smart over the next two days. Don't even think about next week. We just think about these two stages. When you come into these races, you, you, we come in with a plan. We come in with a team for a certain plan, but you've also got to have a team that's adaptable. Things get dealt different ways, and you've got to adapt your riders and the mentality to what you're chasing. And we came in with a very much a GC-minded team, but we've got guys who can win transitional stages, mountain stages, and now we've got to change the chip and uh, go after things in a different way. Ruth won a trip with Skoda to come down to the tour for like two nights and one day, but I wanted to to track down Mitchell and Scott because obviously it's the Aussie team and I really wanted to see Matt Heyman because he's, you know, a legend. Hopefully he comes up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Petro. They are my guests. He's from Australia. He's uh, excited to do a photo with you. Hi, uh, how are you? Very well. Is my good friend looking after you? Indeed he is. Yeah. He's doing a great job. We were teammates way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
A frantic start to the stage as several riders trying to get away, but they were just a bit too high in the GC and quickly shut down by the peloton. And in the end, it was a three-horse race between Monoma, Court Nielsen and Jan Izagiro. I never feel good at the end of a stage, but I'm happy to knock it off. Knock the it off and make it to make it to the rest day. Yeah, it's all right. Never hot day, but tried to get a break for an hour. That didn't work, so another day. Rest day tomorrow. Beautiful. All right, that's a wrap on stage 14 and 15 double banger episode where we saw two transitional stages, multiple guys of ours in the breakaway, two solid performances there from Daryl Impey on both stages, and then an unfortunate crash from Damien Housen in the finish there today. Damien's all right, he's uh, injured his hand, but he will be able to continue the Tour de France. A bit of discomfort, yeah. Um, the adrenaline's wearing off, but we have to fight another day. We're on a well-deserved rest day, and uh, then we start back up again with uh, some very, very tough Pyrenees stages. They're great opportunities for a lot of teams, and especially ours, and we'll be going after them 100%. Very good spot. We hit for a barbecue on a rest day, so yeah, why not? I don't know how many barbecues he's done before, but not growing up in Australia. So, one up for tea, as we say in France. <laughs>